Hello, um, what sign am I doing now? I'm doing Aquarius done and the next would be Pisces. Alright, Pisces, this is for you, your July 2018, July 2018 reading. So this time now, I'm going to do three cards for your energy and three cards for the other person's energy. So let's see what do we have. Uh, I'm going to do it differently this time round. Just, I'm just shuffling, I'm just shuffling now. If you have to, just fast forward it by double tapping on the screen to the, towards your right side. Right would be here as you are looking at me. So double tap on it, it will be 10 seconds, 20 seconds faster. Okay, so I'll be doing jumpers later on. So the first three cards will be the energy of Pisces for the month of July 2018. Okay, this card one this card wants to come out. <laughs> okay, money, money, money. Uh, so first three cards will be your energy for Pisces, Pisces, and then the next uh, three cards will be the energy that you are dealing with, uh, the people that you are dealing with, the people or the person's energy that you are dealing with. Okay, so first three card for Pisces, first three card for Pisces. Um, let's see, what do we have? The first card on the table over here, we've got Four of Pentacles. So Four of Pentacles is really about savings. Uh, a lot of, uh, if, if it's not finances, money issue, that it will be a lot about your attitude towards life, your attitude towards the external, external energy, external world, outside world, which is being very conservative, uh, being sometimes can be guarded, uh, but not so much on that, but it, it can be, it can be guarded, or if not, then it will be very conservative. But everything you do, you will be thinking twice. And this time, this month, you find yourself thinking and pondering a lot about certain things. Like a lot, a lot to think about. There's really a lot to think about. It either could be a plan, like, you know, whatever that you are planning, it might be due to, due to and related, uh, relevant to finances. Like how much is the cost, the budget. So a lot of budgeting this time around this month, uh, starting from early early part of July. Okay, the next card, the next energy we have is actually ten of sword. Ten of sword. Have you been over budgeting, like over over expensing out? over expensing in terms of finances or if not you might have tired yourself out uh, with toxic people sometimes toxic people because this is sword sword is like um, words communication speeches um, like dealing with someone else and then it's just it's just so draining so super drained and it might it might be because this four of pentacles four of pentacles is like you are very conservative in in you know in spending time with unnecessary people with people who are not uh, serving you well in you know towards you okay so that is ten of sword the next card is actually the moon so now we have got all the three cards on the table this is your own energy the next card the next three cards will be the the energy of the people that you are dealing with it's pretty fast Pisces this month for you like ten of sword four of pentacles so Ten of Sword is let's continue on and talk a little bit more about this Ten of Sword. So you have been, you know, you have been surrounded. You have been, I, I, I feel and I could see you, you know, surrounding yourself, putting yourself with people who are time wasters, like pr wasting a lot of your time. And this month is like, you have got enough. I've got enough of it. Like, enough, enough is enough. And this time around, you're gonna be like. You're not gonna you're not gonna mix in with them anymore. Mix in with this group of people or with this person, and you're going to be very careful and conservative about, uh, you know, how do you respond back, uh, how how do you respond back to this person? Okay, the first card of the other person's energy is out. So the last card of your energy, the last card of your energy is the moon. So, for the moon, for you. I find that you realize a lot of realization, a lot of realization about this person's character, this person's behavior. Like, yeah, you 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 found out that, and you realize that this person's behavior, character, or this person's uh, doings is just not serving you. It's not helping you at all, um, and it's draining you, exhausting you, exhausting out your resources, expensing expensing you out. Okay. So, it's really a lot about surrounding, being in negative energy over here, Pisces. Like, 
from early part of this month or even all the way back from June, you have been surrounding surrounded by people who are so negative or who are who are just pulling you down. Like you know, Pisces, you are always high on life. Uh, most of the time, not always. I mean, you have your own moods and emotions, but um, most times you are you are high on life. Okay, but this time round, it's like you find yourself going lower, going lower and lower, lower, lower each time. So you you start to look at your surroundings. You know why am I like that? Why am I like that? It is because of the people that you are surrounding yourself with. Someone over here in the picture around you is too negative, super negative, and you need to ex this person out. This person is just ab absorbing, absorbing out or sucking away your energy, your vibes. Okay, so this is your energy over here. Let's look at the person's energy, the people that you are dealing with, the energy. Oh. So, the energy of this other person or the group of people, it is actually the death card. Could be Scorpios, um, Scorpios, uh, anyone who's of Scorpio uh, element in them, okay? strong on Scorpio, Scorpionic energy, someone who's very um, mysterious, mysterious, uh, mysterious or dubious sometimes, dubious because Scorpios are not easy creatures to be read, to be reading. Like this, there's this saying that says that don't study us, you will never graduate. So as you know, I'm a Scorpio. If you haven't know, I'm a Scorpio. So I could speak on behalf of that. It could be someone of a Scorpionic energy who's draining you, who's sucking you out, like sucking your energy out. Like every other day, be telling you on very deep philosophies and then you'd be like, huh, what are you talking about? I don't understand you. And then this person keep talking and talking and talking nonstop. And then you'd be like, I think we are on different frequencies. I, I, I cannot relate with you and it's so tiring listening to you. I think so. I think so. So the next card is the Fool. So this person has a lot of imagination going on, like has a lot of big ideas, big ideas and then be telling you like, hey, why don't we do that? Why don't we do this? And then why don't we go here? Why don't we go there? You'll be like, why are there so like why do you have so many plans? Like can you give me a break please? Could you give me a break please? And then the last card is Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So this person is like I I feel I feel that this person is, you know, talking a lot about things that you never once mind, you never once bothered so much. And this person is like really saying a lot of a lot of those uh uh topics about a lot about certain things which you never once give a damn about it. And then because ever since this person start talking about it, 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 it starts to you know it intrigues you to think about it, to give it a little more thoughts and ponder more about it. And then you feel so tired, like every other day, this person is trying to drill it into your mind. It's trying to, it's trying to actually like, um, like brainwash you in a way, but you know, you are the willing party also. Like you also, you, you took it in, you took whatever that this person is saying, and then you took it in, you brought it back home, you ponder about it, you think about it, you talk about it with your friends, and then you'd be like, oh, I'm so tired. Thinking about all this just drains me out. And then the next day, you have to deal with this person again. It's like on a routine basis, very routine, weekly, daily routine. Like someone who is around you every other day, schoolmate, friends, colleagues, partner. And then this person is very, pet very petty, calculative, sensitive. And then, and I can imagine how this person is so negative. And then keep on, you know, complaining and telling you things that you do that doesn't bother you, doesn't matter to you. But because you being you, Pisces, you are you always you are always there to listen to people. You're always there to listen to people. Sometimes it just means that you know you are taking in shit from people. You're absorbing away, taking helping them to take out the negative energy, and then they live on well. They're good, and then here you are stuck with that negative energy, that negative vibe, which 
does it even belong to you right from the beginning but because you were kind you were being kind you were being good and then now it is all in you you took it in so how Pisces You need a healer. You need a healer. Someone who can heal. Someone who can take all this, take all this energy out from you, Pisces. If I'm okay, I'm saying this. If you might not need a reading, you might not need a reading. But write to me as a friend. Write to me as a friend if you need to. I can connect with you just to talk with you over on on a Skype. It doesn't need to be a reading. You don't have to ask me any question. Like we could just make a friend. I will I will listen to you. I will listen to you and I will take that take that negative energy out from you. Okay? My promise to you. Not necessarily be a reading. But if you want a reading, feel free to. Okay? I'm going to draw a do a bottom of the deck, the overall energy for everyone here in the picture. Everyone here, including you and the people that you are dealing with. What is the overall general energy? Why is it like that? Why? Overall general energy. One last shuffle and I will cut the cuts. I will cut the cards. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Investment. Okay. Investment. Investment of time. Investment of energy. Investment of effort. Like investing. Investing. You you were investing in this person. This person was this person is or this this group of people they were also invest investing or invested on you they had invested on you as well and then it's like but it just didn't work out it's like two 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 it is a two way it is it is going two way both parties both parties are trying to invest are trying to work something out like working a partnership out working out a friendship like it, it is just probably something new newly acquainted you your your newly acquainted business partner friends uh, acquaintance that you know you just got newly acquainted and then you just want to try to you know maintain and keep the friendship and then you try to connect every other day but because it just doesn't roll like this is not how you roll or this this relationship this friendship this partnership whatever kind of relationship it just doesn't roll like that like whatever that you are doing to maintain to keep up with this relationship friendship whatever whatever ship shit okay it just doesn't it, it just doesn't roll like that so sometimes you might want to keep it light and simple like you don't really have to connect every other time um maybe like once a week or fortnightly and then check in with this person hey how are you and then just keep it there like oh you like you know if it's not something good then be like just be very neutral uh, be very neutral and say oh I wish that you know uh, things are better for you uh, and then keep it there full stop and move on if they, if it's not something like unless you have a lot of positivity to give but if you don't even have enough for yourself then don't don't take up this don't take up this shit for yourself okay Pisces this is for you I hope it helps and if you need a personal reading uh, feel free to write them to me. I'm doing a very special deal this month. This deal is just $10 per email, unlimited question. I will also do a your birth chart screening to pertaining to the questions or the events, the situation that you are stuck in to see how the transits are affecting you and why is it that it is all what it is right now for you. So look out for the description box below for the details to write to me. And then till then, I hope to do a lot more videos for the next few other days in this coming month. And then I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much, Pisces, and uh, see you again. Bye-bye.